The Belgian town of Vommelheim is about a 45-minute drive from Brussels. It's a quiet, unassuming place in the province of Antwerp, which can lay claim to being the birthplace of a fairly new sport. It was here 10 years ago in this hall in Vommelheim that Bossable, a sport created by Belgian Philip Ekmans as a mixture of football, volleyball and gymnastics and held together by a so-called groovy and exotic glue, was first played. We wanted to invent something that combined trampolining and a ball sport, because basically there wasn't one. That's why we started with trampolines and then added an air cushion around it. Eventually, that evolved into a bossa ball court. The name comes from Brazilian bossa nova music. We are always trying to combine music and sports in all our events. But what we really wanted was a sport that had a very big rally factor. Because normally, in beach volleyball for example, rallies are very short. In bossa ball, however, the rallies are very long. Wilco Nyland is one of those in charge of developing the bossa ball brand. The sport has been a hit in several countries, with possible clubs having been established in Germany, the Netherlands, Portugal, Brazil, Romania, Ecuador and Saudi Arabia. Two of the sport's leading players are the Dutch duo of Dauer Kamsma and Sven Lehmans. In the very beginning, it was like we were pioneers of the game and we really had to search for the right way to play it. And, although we're still evaluating, I believe we have moved on to a form which will be permanent. You basically steal tricks from the others. Everybody can do something different. You learn a great deal from each other by playing together, but you always turn it into your own thing. It's so new that anyone can come up with a new trick. The Bossable Court has a specially designed inflatable base, which includes a round trampoline on each side of an adjustable volleyball style net. There's lots of padding, so a soft landing is guaranteed. Bossable is played between two teams of either three, four or five people. Each team is allowed up to six touches before it must return the ball. And you can use your hands, feet or head to play. You play two sets to 21, and if it's 1-1, one, one, a third set is played to 15. One of the defining qualities of bossa ball is that, while it can be a competitive sport, it's also intended to be a lot of fun. It's just so much fun. There's a ball and a trampoline and an air cushion. Even people who really can't do it and basically just jump around a lot can enjoy themselves. And if you do get the hang of the game, then it's even more fantastic. And what is it with all the show-off serves? Of course, we play the game to win, but you don't get any extra points for the tricks. The boys perform them in order to humiliate their opponents. They do smashes with their feet or serve after doing 10 backflips. Anything really, just to humble their opponents. It's a serious sport. To describe possible, I'd say, Two teams play and try to score against each other, but they don't do that in a normal manner. They do it with lots of tricks, lots of show and a great deal of flamboyance. Because we want to amuse and entertain the audience. We want to deliver a complete package. A match is not just a match, but everything that goes with it. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.